What's going on guys, it's Michael MGF, and today I'm going to be doing another custom LEGO minifigure showcase video. This time I have a custom LEGO Star Wars Clone Commander Bly. He is the leader of the 327th Legion in Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. And actually not only that, but in the Clone Wars as well. But anyway, I also have Quad Assassin Customs here, say hello! Hello! Yeah, link to his channel will be in the description below, check it out if you'd like. Alright, anyway, so let's get on to the details of this awesome figure. Before we get started, what's your opinion on Commander Bly? Look at him. It's, it's Commander Bly, Simon. It it it's Commander Bly. C Commander Bly. <laughs> so here is my custom Phase Two Commander Bly. I gave you guys a quick preview of this guy in my previous Juggernaut showcase video, um, and you guys got pretty excited for that. So here he is. So as you can see, he does feature. Fabric pauldrons and a wastecape, or pauldrons, just one fabric pauldron and one wastecape, um, which are pretty nice. As you can see, he does have painted arms, which is my new thing, if you guys didn't know from my custom clones. But he has the painted arms there with the black lines um, representing his you know armor plating, and he has the standard 327th Legion color, um, which is the, for Commander Bly, it's kind of like a brownish and a um, kind of like a king's, king's goldish, if you will. It's like a mustard yellow. And um, as you can see, the decals, these decals for the torso and back are both designed by JPO97 Studios. Link to his channel will be in the description below. But anyway, as you can see, he does have two dark brown stripes going through his legs there. His legs are posable, as you can see there. His macro binoculars can go up and down. Let me put them down there. As you can see there. There he is with his macro binoculars down. And he does have a brown stripe on those. And the black line, which is also painted in there. His helmet is entirely painted, which makes him really unique and awesome. And he actually does feature the visor trick here, which is where I paint in the inside of the visor to give it, you know, that more uh, phase two kind of feel to it. And you just Close that down real quick, put that down, close that down, slip fold those down. As you, as you can see, the other arm is painted as well, which is really nice. I think it looks really awesome. Um, his torso, let me give you a better look at that. Pull him apart here. If you didn't already notice, he does have feature the standard DC-15A uh, little arm shot blaster, but there is a look at his torso decal. He does also feature a belt decal. So as you can see, when I pull the torso apart, the belt is left, and then when I put it together, it connects in a way. And as you can see, the waist cape does kind of interfere with the whole belt connection thing, so let's pull that off and I'll give you a look at what it looks like, just like that. As you can see, the belt torso decal and the belt decal line up perfectly, which is really awesome. And there's the back, and the back has a standard template to it, but it's pretty cool. So now let's talk about his helmet a little bit more. Uh, Bly, his helmet was kind of basically a blank white aerialite helmet. So when I started painting Commander Bly, I literally had nothing on the helmet. Aerialite, um, he, he does provide printed helmets, but they aren't exactly accurate because you can only do so much with printing. So he does actually, but he does supply the um, blank helmets with absolutely no design on them, which is really convenient because I know I love these helmets and why do I keep dropping it? But yeah, so basically I started with just this and I think I went into some pretty heavy painting for just, for literally no detailing on it whatsoever. So I basically painted all of the mustard yellow on him. I painted the gray there and the black and all the brown and basically everything, um, including the mouth here and the inside of the visor. Uh, not this visor, I mean the visor that he looks through. <laughs> and I painted the black line there. Basically, every, pretty much all the design on the helmet is painted. So that about sums it up for my custom Phase 2 or Revenge of the Sith Commander Bly guys. Hope you enjoyed. I think he's really cool. I think he looks really awesome and well done. Uh, not to be cocky, but I think he's pretty cool. Uh, what do you guys think? Leave a comment below. But anyway, um, Connor, would you like to say goodbye? Hello. I mean, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Link to Qu Connor's channel or Quad Assassin Customs channel will be in the comment, comment section. Description below. Okay. See you guys later. Bye.